right there. Don't you move a muscle. I ain't gonna tell you Let's again. Just talk about Hands this, all right? God, no! Just kill him. Somebody shoot that prick. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. 
tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Mr. McGuire is back. Even you, Arthur. So come on. Even you. Let's have ourselves a party. <laughs> Here we go. Well, Those bitches, please. We're back home now. So oh, everything's going quit. to be okay. Uncle I'll Sean is it, back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If Are I have to whip them, right? I will. You you a on the Nobody head. needs to. <laughs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest to no one, game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you please. grumpy old bastard, Let's Arthur. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folk? I suppose. You are looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old... So, what now? Come on! How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him have some fun. He's been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Finally! Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you, you know, can talk. When I was in the army, fellas would spend all night talking about what they were gonna do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook, or, well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh, well, no offense. But you know what every one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army! Something a little more civilized. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. I even missed you. <laughs> you so and that's that most fellas are... Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. 
So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Just dreadful. Let's go, girl. Whew, that was some night. in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles... <laughs> Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! You beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. As they come out, it's any libation. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh, man. Stupid, stupid. Ah, oh. oh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see.
Just fine without your company, and that don't need to change. Good.
shit. Yep. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. I found a couple of things in town. You busy, Arthur? John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. husband, is he well? He's dead. Combination of beatings and sickness did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. Yep. And mine for you. For all your wretched lives. You don't want to involve yourself with this. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Hey! What are you doing there? See you in...
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, you can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so. Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar. Think you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. 
You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. ready you get shot. Stop. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. There you go. Let's make this quick! Come on! Can't leave me on this fast floor! What did I do? This is unnecessary. I ain't it's got nothing. Wanna we'll have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Quel monde de sauvage! Look at these two, will you, Mr. Amp? What's the problem here? You're better than this, please. Come on! In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. Don't help me! People like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games! I want to count to three. One. Two. Said that that funny is worth dying over. Tell him, Mr. A. I'll do anything! Here. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery! Let's make this quick! boys need me! No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time, You huh? show this son I'll of a bitch anything. we ain't playing around here? Uh, oh. Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, money! We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't be... Honey, now! Come on, cough it up. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? Get in here, Arthur. I'll 
know, can you provide the cover? I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We'll take that. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. There's some decent stuff. Looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Ed, there's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. You won't tell me. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah? Whoa, whoa! Yep. Yeah. 